I spend a lot of time out here in the garage and last summer it was ridiculously hot so I started thinking about installing an air conditioning system out here. It's a three car garage that is 30 by 21 with 10 and a half foot ceilings. So I figured out that 6615 cubic feet and according to the internets, uh, you multiply it times five to get the BTUs you need. These are some of the options I considered when air conditioning my garage. The first was a window air conditioner. The problem is my garage has no windows and so I'd have to cut some holes in the side of the garage. Also, I need many, many of these in order to get up to 33,000 BTU. The second option is a portable air conditioner. I would need many, many of these portable units in order to get up to 33,000 BTU and also they take up valuable floor space, so I ruled out this option. The third option is a mini split, which has a unit hanging on the wall inside and then a condenser outside, sort of like a mini home unit, and you can get it in the 36,000 BTU size. Unfortunately, the price for the size I need was two to five grand. So none of these options met my needs. So I started thinking about what were the components of each of the systems that were common. The first was the fan. And then the fan basically just blows over something that's colder than the uh, air in the garage and therefore cooling the garage down. So around this time, we decided to replace the 25-year-old HVAC system in our house. And I realized that it had a working blower motor and a working A-coil. So that gave me a fourth option for garage AC options, which was the HVAC system from the house. So typically when an HVAC system is replaced, the HVAC system company takes away and recycles the parts to your old system. Well, oftentimes the, uh, all the components aren't bad in the system, like for instance in my system, the blower motor and the uh, AC coil or the A coil was fine. Uh, also, the uh, compressor uh, outside was fine. So you can just keep using that. It's a great use to stick it in your garage and get many more years of use out of it, hopefully. I decided I could take the heating element out, put the A-coil down right above the blower, and then have a really awesome three-ton cooling system for my garage at a really inexpensive price. Removing the heating element bits from the top of the unit was actually pretty straightforward. And after this, I started looking around for where I could put the system. I thought about up in the attic or mounting it on the wall, but in the end, I decided just to stick it underneath the workbench and then run a heater air return up the side of the shelving unit. Wiring up the system is more complicated than the other three options. You need a 220 volt 30 amp run routed through a disconnect for the condenser. Then you need a 110 line for the main unit and a couple of smaller lines run through from the control board to the relay for the condenser. And you need to run two copper lines called a line set from the A coil to the condenser. These get brazed on both ends and you need to pull a vacuum and pressure test them when you're done. This requires special equipment, so I hired an HVAC professional to do those steps, and that was the bulk of my cost. Because the AC was going to sit under my workbench, the next thing I had to do was make a diverter to divert the air from under the workbench out into the main part of the garage. Then I made an air return to bring warm air near the ceiling into the air conditioning unit. And here's the finished unit. The line set comes out the front, makes a 180 degree turn, and goes out the back wall. Below that is the drain for the coil pan. And below that I have three switches. The first is main power, the second fan only, and the third is the cooling switch which pulls in the relay and gives it the beans. I made a sheet metal bender so that I could make the air diverter and the transition piece from the boot that holds the filter to the air return. So this is a view of the inside of the diverter and then I'm going to pan over here and show you the boot which holds the filter and then what sits on top of the boot is the piece I made that's the transition piece that takes you up to the air return. I made the air return out of just some wood that I had in the shop. Here's the view from the other side of the wall. You have the line set and the drain coming out here, the 220 disconnect here, and the main condenser unit.
So I have right around $500 in this 36,000 BTU air conditioning system. And I think it's not that uncommon that people replace their heater and air conditioner before they're really wore out. So I wonder if, you know, contacting an HVAC uh, professional and just have them on the lookout for a used system that's still functioning. Maybe it's 20, maybe it's 25 years old, but it still works and the people want to replace it in the summertime versus wait until January when, when it goes out. Uh, I think it's not that uncommon. So I think for $500, this is great. Now, if you don't know how to do electrical work, you'd have to pay an electrician. So that would add a little bit more to the cost. I really enjoyed this project. I had never done HVAC work before and I didn't really understand how the whole thing worked. So I had the manual for both the heater and the air conditioner and it's got wiring schematics for everything. And so it was a lot of fun. It was a great project. And now I have a ridiculously cold garage whenever it's hot outside because this thing is awesome. Thanks for watching my video, and if you liked it, hit the like button and think about subscribing so you can catch more of my interesting garage projects.